Hey Crushers, it's Young. I'm bringing you a new Crush Small video. Today's video is going to be focusing on the third and final installment of my Arena Overview. Today we're going to be looking at Platinum 3. Now, as always, if you have any questions or comments after watching this video, please post them in the comment section below. You can drop me a message on the main Discord server, which you can find in the settings of the game here. There's the link for that. Or, you're welcome to pop into Phoenix Knights if we have room and message me in-game. Now, on to the main event. Gonna go ahead and hop into the arena. You guys should see me losing a lot more today. Hey, look, there's Jericho. I'm definitely not gonna go up against you. Um, as you can see, Jericho has an impressive lineup. Look at all of those sixes. That's way too much for me. A 4-6 Tesla. Yeah, there's no way I can handle that. I almost want to do the battle just for fun, but there's not going to be anything to show you guys. I'm just going to get demolished. So, we will look at this Yuki in SGN. Yuki in SGN. Not a very strong offensive line. Um, lots of fives in there, but not enough for me to be concerned with, and definitely not enough water to counter my front line. So, this will be the first one aiming for 200 trophies. Probably pull in about 190. 170 within that range, I think. Yeah, it looks like 190. So, there's... Or 140. Wow, lost four. That was way more than I thought I would lose. All the same, it's fine. Trophies are trophies. So, coming back in, we are looking at Lancia Christie. Lancia Christie has several commons in there. Nothing that I'm concerned with. This should be a quick and easy win. Um... I'll stop predicting how many trophies I think I'll get, or I'll end up with the minimum every time. Uh, let's see, just tore through that front line. As expected, 270 trophies, popping back into battle. One thing I will point out, as opposed to yesterday's video where I was going for the plus, this time I'm just going for the equal sign. Once I get that equal sign, I'm good to go. Wargasm, I know I cannot handle him. Very strong player, got... If I recall correctly, it was last event, um, he got the, um, the event champion on the server for being number one in that event. So that was very exciting for Wargasm to get that. Let's take a look at Spike's DG321 instead. Strong front line. Um, we're looking at a Thor, which my Sorrow will tear through. He has a very strong Sorrow as well, but I'm not really packing a lot of light, so I'm not too concerned about that. 3-4 Furiosa is nothing for me to be worried about. 4-4 four, four Ice Cube is going to slow down my front line and tear through them pretty severely, and I don't really have a lot going on for my front line to counter that except for Leaf Blade. And his Leaf Blade outclasses mine by an entire yellow star. He's also running Alda for a really good buff. No Magicians on the front line. Let's take a look at this player real quick. Baron Executioner. Uh, this is a front line I can definitely tear through. There's nothing on there that's going to hold me back. I can pick up an easy 100 trophies there. Oh, but I'm going to go ahead and take the risk. Roll the dice on this one. It is going to be pretty close. I'm thinking I've got about a 45% chance to win, it just kind of depends on who gets where first, and how quickly I can tear through that Ice Cube. Uh, not quickly enough, Ice Cube is still going. Yeah, his front line held, so there's the loss for me. That Ice Cube was just too much. If I'd gotten through the Ice Cube, I probably could have swung the victory, but not enough momentum there. Um, terrain also outclasses me. I've lost to Terrain in previous weeks, so I already know this is a team and a lineup that I just cannot handle. The slowdown from Groovine, the 5-5 Furiosa, the 4-5 Sorrow is not that bad, but the debuffs that I get, I just cannot handle. So, moving on. 2x2 two two Ever. So, forever, that's clever. 5-5 um, Furiosa, 3-4... Four Ice Cube, 5-5 five, five, Thor. Um, nothing on here that I'm feeling too awfully concerned about. This is pretty close to what my lineup is in terms of power, so we'll go ahead and hop in and get the ball rolling on this one. I should be able to 
Ooh, no, no, no. Yeah, that was hard loss there. Wow. And I thought I was going to do better than that. Okay. Go ahead and take a look. And this is why I wanted to do the follow-up video with you guys. This is my process as I'm doing these battles. So I don't want you guys to think that I'm just coming in and wiping the floor every time. Because I'm not. It takes strategizing, choosing if my team is a good lineup against theirs. Um, in this particular lineup, LD2112 uh, USA is someone I cannot handle. I know that because the 4-4 um, Gold Knight along with the 5-5 Thor is going to be too much for my Sorrow to take on. If it was one or the other, that would be okay, but both of them is going to outclass what I'm capable of dealing with there, especially with just a 3-4 Onyx. If my Onyx was a 4-4 four, four, or even a 3-5 could probably handle that a little bit better. Um, but the Alda, the 4-5 Alda is where I'm going to have to put a hard no on that one. So, take a look at Larock instead. Larock has a lineup I can handle. All those flyers, my guys are going to bypass. The Furios is going to fall pretty quickly, honestly, against what I have lined up. So we're going to go against Larock here. So, battle has started. Tearing into them as expected. Furios is down cutting through his front line, and those flyers are just not going to do anything to my lineup. So that's 200 trophy victory. Um, yeah. Cannot handle you. You are way too out of my league, and I'm not even sure what your username is. Uh, Slovetica? Slovetica, maybe? I don't know. Um, look at all those sixes, guys. That's definitely outclassing me. But Zach Weiss. Zach Weiss, you have a 4-6 Kasai, which is impressive. Um, lots of debuff. Lots and lots of debuff going on there. Um, the debuff has me nervous. Can I tear through those three knights fast enough? Let's find out. Never gone up against Zach Weiss before. I think this would be a good time to see if I can handle this opponent. Hmm, no. Look at that tear through. Big support on the back end there. Okay. Now I know. Zach Weiss is not someone I can handle. Uh, Cyclops. See what Cyclops is packing. Lots of earth for me to tear through. I'm not worried about the earth at all. Uh, let's see. 4 5, 3 5, 3 5. Yeah, this looks like a lineup I can handle. We'll go ahead and purchase tickets. As I mentioned in the video yesterday, I'm a big proponent of buying tickets when you need them in order to move on. I think that getting the Star Shards is number one priority. Wow. Man, I'm just awful with the predictions today. So, yeah, another huge loss for me. Uh, let's see. You guys may see me just completely flump on this one. Probably should probably start looking a little more conservatively. Hey, look, there's Lorak again. Well, should I farm the trophies or try against Tawan Muff? Tawan Muff. Muff. Not sure how to say that. Muff. Tawan Muff. Try Tawan Muff. If I cannot beat this player, then if I see Lorak again, we'll go ahead and farm the trophies there, just since we know. That I can already beat them. Just got to tear through all the support in the back. That Tesla has to go down. Tesla went down. Everything else should be a piece of cake from here. Alright. There we go. Starting to build up a little bit of momentum, maybe. Dizzy. Dizzy has a strong front line with that 5-5 Furiosa 2-5 Leaf Shield. I'm not seeing anything else there, despite having 42,000 power coming in that is giving me a lot of pause. I think I'm going to go ahead and roll the dice on this one. Dizzy. So there goes my front line. Oh, his leaf blade went down hard. That is not good for his front line at all, but there goes my front line completely. Sorrow cannot do all of the work on her own. She was trying, you guys, but that was just too much. I was not expecting to see that enemy leaf blade drop that quickly, though. Okay, let's see. Fud Fud. Fud Fud has a lot of support. Yeah, it's those high-level archers in the back that are just tearing through me. 
That's, there's definitely something in that strategy. Getting a few to stall out the front line while the back guys do all the work. And with that 3-5 Magician on the front line, I'm going to take a hard pass on that. Uh, lots of Flyers. 5-5 five, five Furiosa, which my front line can handle. And a 4-5 Thor, which my Sorrow will tear through. Um, that Zack isn't going to do enough. And three of those Magicians are just Flyers. So we'll go ahead and start battle against Comedy Chris. As you can see, as predicted, Sorrow tore through Thor. Need to get that Furiosa down. There it goes. And there goes the back line. For the win. Only 180 trophies, but that is okay. Um, Alpha Issa. Alpha Issa, you, you do not have a strong front line. 3-4 Ice Cube, 4-4 four, four Leaf Blade, 3-5 Dark Knight. I'm not concerned about Onyx at all, so jump back into battle against Alpha Issa. This should be a quick run through their front line. I say should be. <laughs> there we go. I've been bad at the predictions so far tonight. 210 in there is that even sign that I was looking for, 1,220 trophies. But, we'll go ahead and come in. Manox I cannot handle. I've tried my luck against Manox several times before, and it is that 3-5 Dark Hunter that is going to be the main stopping for me. That 5-5 five, five Furios installs my team out. That Dark Hunter and the Scud, the 4-5 Scud, just pummels my front line until I die. And everything else just adds in with the chip damage. The 4-5 Sorrow in the back backing up everything else does nothing to help my front line. So we'll take a look here. That's a lot of Magician support, but that is a lot of common heroes. And as you guys know, common heroes do not dissuade me whatsoever. Common just do not fare well against all of my stronger, rare, and epic heroes that I'm bringing into battle. And as you can see, I tore through that line like it was nothing. So, that was against Wincenzo. Wincenzo. And I'm going to go ahead and cut it there. That should be enough trophies to float me through until the arena, which starts in just over an hour. And that's how I do my arena, guys. I do appreciate you watching. I hope that these videos are helping you at least understand some of my thought processes when I'm entering into these arena battles. And as you can see, even sometimes when I think that my team can handle it, they can't. And sometimes there's a lucky shot that gets through. And sometimes I just completely miscalculate and I think I can handle something that I can't. It's not a perfect science. And don't be discouraged if you find that you're falling a little bit behind or you're losing a little bit more than you think you should be. It's just part of the process. Now, that's all I've got for today, guys. I do appreciate you watching. Um... It would really help me out a lot if you would subscribe if you're watching this video and you haven't already subscribed to my channel. So I now understand why everybody asks for that. That's actually a fairly big deal. Um, but that would also let you know when I have more videos that get posted. Uh, I don't plan on doing any more videos until after the update comes out. So stay tuned and next time you see a video it should be after the update. Thanks for watching guys.